Hello, Capricorns. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly tarot card reading for November 20th through the 26th, 2023, and happy Thanksgiving to all who celebrate. And just to let you know, I am truly, truly thankful and grateful to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you are here. Now, Capricorn, keep in mind, these are very general readings. Uh, some things will resonate with you. Um, other things will not. It's a general reading. So, Capricorn, take what resonates, leave the rest. So, let's see what your cards are revealing for the holiday week ahead. What's coming through for Capricorn? First up, oh, beautiful, the wheel. Major Arcana card. The King of Cups. Major Arcana card, Judgment. Oh, the Eight of Wands. Ooh, love that energy. And the Ace of Cups. This is your overall energy for the week ahead. Wow. All right, let's see which crystal you need. Um, could it be Citrine? Jade, Tiger's Eye, what's it going to be with these cards? Wow, Rose Quartz. Okay, didn't see that coming. In regards to your heart chakra. Okay. Your Oracle message, what is coming through for Capricorn? Message for Capricorn. All right. Great adventure. Take a risk. Venture forward. Beautiful. All right, Capricorn. Wow, these are this is fantastic energy here. Two major arcana cards. So there's some kind of change that's coming in. Um, and, and you've got the great adventure oracle message. Wow. Telling you to go forward. All right, well, this card is really calling to you, Capricorn. Um, kind of a reminder of, um, you know, to think about at the end of your life, you're really going to be more likely to regret the things you didn't do than the things you actually did do. So this is about taking risks. Um, not every risk is going to turn out. It's not going to be successful. But if you never take a risk, you never know what might be available to you. So definitely, this is a card of stepping outside your comfort zone. Uh, with the Rose Quartz Crystal being uh, coming up for your crystal for the week, this could definitely be in regards to love, taking a risk, letting someone know how you feel about them. Um, this is... Um, Hoisting the sails and um, take that adventure. Go to new ports. Um, this is a card saying it's really easy to just stay safe in the harbor, but you need to sail the open seas. So there is um, a life force energy that is um, like going to be coming in this week. There's something, there's change coming in. And the biggest thing that I see happening is your luck is really going to take a turn. Look it. It's time to roll the dice, so to speak. And stop playing it safe. So the Wheel of Fortune, this is change coming in. And on top of that, you have the King of Cups energy. This is you. This is really taking control of your emotions. So there's something significant, some kind of uh, a life event possibly happening. Um, good luck, good fortune coming in. You're keeping your composure. Look at this. This, this individual, this king, is just keeping everything inside. Very controlled. 
as this wheel is turning in your favor. Now, the Judgment card, another major arcana card, this is also significant change. This is an indication of something is done. There's something coming to a close. There's some realization. You're letting go of um, something. Could be a life event that's happening around this time where now you can let go of energy that was really weighing you down. So this is kind of like, you know, you're you're being freed up to now just set sail, literally to just set sail. And then, of course, the Eight of Wands. This is something that you feel very passionate about. Um, this is this could be good news coming in. This could be um, heading off in a new direction, something that you thought uh, you weren't going to be able to do. So this is very much uh, rapid energy coming in, something uh, unusual. And I'm looking at your bookend cards here. You've got the, the wheel and then the eight of wands. So, you know, your luck is changing. Something's coming in very fast where you're going to have to keep yourself grounded, centered, and balanced. Um, you're being released. So the heart chakra, definitely um, how you're going to be feeling, your emotions, and, and keeping control of those because that is really going to be of significance. Now, playing in the background, all this week is the Ace of Cups. And this is your, this is like an overflowing cup of joy and happiness. Um, whatever's coming in, you're taking, um, you're taking a risk here. It's changing your luck. You've got good news coming in. You're, you're trying to, con you know, contain yourself. A lot of love and joy coming in. And this cup in itself is definitely how you're going to be feeling. So this is emotions at an all-time high. And look at what's underneath. This is what has not exactly as of yet come to pass. You have the Ten of Swords. There is something that is so over. Long time coming. So over. It's releasing an energy you no longer need. I love it. I love it for you, Capricorn. All right. Let's um, clarify the tarot cards. Let's see if we can get any, um, any more information. Let's look at the wheel. Okay, we had one fallout. Oh, okay. You are really following your intuition. Definitely following your intuition. Um, that's going to um, that's going to make a huge difference in your fate. King of Cups. Keeping those emotions in check when they're going to be at an all-time high. Wow. Another card falling out. Okay, the Hermit card. Just really, um, there's a lot of meditation, a lot of thought. This is after this, um, this event, this good luck, the wheel, fate, fortune. Possibly, um, you know, an event taking place here. You're spending some time. That's a review. That's reviewing and meditating and keeping uh, yourself grounded and centered and balanced. All with this Ace of Cups, this explosive emotions, desire, uh, feeling, energy. Judgment. Oh, yes, there is a new opportunity coming in. This is um, right on the heels of something that has ended. For some of you, and we had another card fall out. For some of you Capricorns, I feel this has already taken place, this ending. It all, the wheel has already started turning. So this card flew out. It's for the Eight of Wands. Okay, yeah. Whatever this is, this is fast and furious. This is something unique. This is not the norm. You're, you're trying to... Um, you're trying to... Uh, figure it out. The King of Swords is all about being practical and logical as to why um, this is all coming together. Holy cow. Wow. All right, Capricorn. Yeah. First thing is following your intuition. 
That's going to change up your good luck, good fortune coming in um, through meditation, spending time alone, keeping yourself grounded, centered and balanced. It's kind of like a review because there's something uh, major taking place here, which is going to enable you to take risks and adventures and go off in a new direction. Rose quartz definitely could be suggested. Um, there's an overflowing uh, cup of love and emotions here. Um, it could be a lot of uh, just emotions being put forth and you're trying to keep it together, Capricorn. And of course, with the judgment card, there is something that is being released and something is right away replacing it. This is something you're going to feel passionate about. And then with the Eight of Wands, this is something that is unusual, something that just doesn't happen every day. It's kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity is what I'm picking up that is coming in. And the fact that you have your bookend card being the wheel turning in your favor, something's going to come in very quick where you're going to be able to have future adventures. And you're trying to make heads or tails of it. And I wouldn't even bother. Enjoy this energy that's coming in. But I would um, very much stay, um, listen to your inner guiding voice. It's all about your intuition. That's going to be the key here. All right, last message, Capricorn. This is the uh, brand new secret manifestation cards. I do usually pull uh, a daily manifesting message if you'd like to check that out on my uh, playlist on my channel but let's see what is the message for Capricorn for this particular week what's coming through what does Capricorn need to know what are you going to be manifesting although I pick up it's something really good wow think before you act Make it a daily habit to determine the outcome of every event in your life through your thoughts. Set the universal forces ahead of you in everything you do and everywhere you go by thinking the way you want something to go in advance. Then you are creating your life intentionally. Following your intuition is going to set off this wheel turning in your favor. Staying very calm, very connected to spirit source. Something is being released. Something is, you're letting go of an energy. Something that uh, has been a long time coming is what I'm picking up. There's a new opportunity you're going to feel very passionate about. There is definitely some good news coming in. Something that is unusual. Something that uh, once in a lifetime. And here's going to be you, Capricorn, even though this is an air sign, uh, you're going to be adapting, trying to uh, reason this out as to why this all took place. But it's all because of the high priestess, the sky's the limit, follow your intuition and your final message here. Think before you act. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website for a private reading. But love, love, abundance to my Capricorn family.